How's Mildenberger done since the Dante? He's done well. Um, it's a funny one in that, obviously, we made the run in the Dante and we were in control of our own fortune there, but the reality is we didn't run the race to suit our horse. Yeah. It was quite slowly run through the first half of the race, developed into a test of speed, which was won by the fastest horse in Roaring Line. So, like we said, with, with, with both these horses, DXB as well, that they're going to improve when they step up and trip. And this horse has never run over the distance that we mm. think is going to suit him, which is a mile and a half. So the plan for him is to go to the King Edward at Royal Ascot. And we hope that you know, that extra distance will bring about an improvement. But he's obviously a horse that you, you think has got quality over over a number of trips because he got a Coral, Coral Eclipse entry, a Queen's Vase, a King Edward the Seventh. I mean, is he just a horse with, with quite a lot of natural ability and, and could show it at a few trips? He's a horse with a lot of class. You know, we remember he finished, finished third in a vintage behind yeah. Expert Eye, ran in a Royal Lodge, ran in all the best two-year-old races. And all that time as a two-year-old, we were thinking, what a lovely three-year-old this is going to make. And you know, we started off the, the year with some pretty ambitious sort of dreams with him. And you know they're still intact, mm. and he's only run two races this year, and you know it shows the regard we hold the horse in that we were quite deflated leaving York in the Dante, and the thought of going up to a mile and a half and maybe even further later in the year, and we're thinking that he's going to improve for for those distances. Um, you know we're hopeful that there's going to be some big races in him this summer. So he's going to go for the King Edward the Seventh, a race that yourselves and, and obviously the owner won with Permian last year. Is it? Is it unfair to, to draw comparisons between the two? It's, we've, well, we're all guilty of it, and it's an easy. It's inevitable. Isn't it's it? an easy one to make <laughs> the buy the same stallion, and um, you know, at the start of the year, I'm saying to the team from from Godolph, you know, if we're going to have another Permian this year, that's going to rise through the ranks through through the summer and win big races, this is the horse that's going to do it. Yep. And we always thought he was going to going to improve a huge amount, and yeah, it's they're, they're completely different animals. Um, as you've seen, he's a, he's a much bigger horse than, than Permian was. He was quite a neat, uh, short coupled horse, whereas Mildenberg is a real classical middle distance staying type. Is it impossible that he could join DXB in a race like the Ledger? It's not impossible at all. No, I think it's, if anything, it's quite likely really. Um, I think that's, you no, know, he's shown enough speed to be competitive in very good races at, at shorter distances, but we're hopeful that he'll improve when he goes further and, no, I think it is quite possible that both those horses will be in the ledger come September.